just gonna try not to swear. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna swear. Here goes another another video that's not gonna make any sense because I didn't really plan this out and I worked on this entire project without filming a thing. So I was gonna talk about this long elaborate story about how I made this project, all the prototyping involved and the mistakes I made, but it was starting to get really boring. So instead I'm just gonna talk about what it does and how I made it. Cool, clap test. Chlamydia test. So a while back, I made a video talking about one of Space Hun's deauthor projects, the deauthor wristband. Uh, that video was showcasing some of its capabilities, and it inspired me to create the ESP32 Marauder project. Essentially what I wanted to do was take the same capabilities that were in the deauthor project and add them to the ESP32 while including some Bluetooth tools and then making it all work with a touchscreen. So that way it was portable but didn't use any push buttons. So pretty much what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to put one of these together. Pretty much the first step in making the ESP32 Marauder is getting it all pasted up with solder paste using this stencil. That way you don't have to solder a bunch of surface mount components by hand. You can just paste it, place it, and then hit it with the, uh, the heat gun. And so that's what we're going to do right now. Alright, so I have some of my components laid out here. These are the more uh, these are the more important components that are going to be used to make the Marauder. So this is the CH340C. It's the USB to serial converter that I'm going to use in place of the CH340G, which needs an external crystal. This one does not. Uh, I also chose it over the CP2102 because this is just easier to solder. That's pretty much it. I just suck, so this is going to be easier for me. Next to it is the IP5306. This is going to be part of the charging circuit uh, to charge our 3.7 volt LiPo battery uh, and also help our side mounted tactile switch behave as a toggle on off button. It's also going to control the power level indicator LEDs uh, and I'll get to those in just a second. I have two 5x5 five by, five by 1.5 millimeter uh, push buttons. One will be for reset, the other will be for flash. Um, next to that, I have a side-mounted tactile switch that's going to be the on-off button, uh, and it's going to interface directly with the IP5306. I have four red LEDs. These are going to serve as the charge level indicator for the LiPo battery. And rather than using, you know, mini USB or uh, USB-C, I'm just going to go with a standard micro USB. And of course, we have the ESP32 W room or whatever the hell you call it, that's going to be the brains of the operation. So let's get all these uh, put onto the board and then I'm going to flow the solder paste with a heat gun and then we may, might program it and shit.
that I got ready. Now that I got everything all soldered up and connected, uh, I want to make sure that this is actually going to allow me to flash code to it from Arduino. Um, I have it connected to my computer right now, and it didn't explode, so at least the charging circuit works. Um, the battery is connected to the back. I'm going to upload an image for the title screen to the ESP32 SPIFs, uh, and then I'm going to flash the code. So that's going to take just a minute. Alright, so I have a serial monitor open. I finished uploading the title screen to SPIFs, and now I'm going to see if the code will upload. and main menu, come on, do the thing. There we go, main menu. Yep, sniffing Bluetooth devices, so it works. Now let's talk about what it does at the moment. Because I focused more on the hardware aspect of this project, I haven't quite uh, dedicated enough time to developing the firmware, so there's a few capabilities that are there, but there's a lot that's missing that I'd like to add. Um, on the Wi-Fi side, it can sniff beacon frames. It can also sniff probe requests. On the Bluetooth side, it can detect Bluetooth devices and then specifically scan for credit card skimmers that are Bluetooth enabled. Uh, so if you pull up to a gas station or you're going to an ATM or something like that and you have this thing with you, you can scan just to make sure uh, that there uh, probably isn't a Bluetooth enabled credit card skimmer in that machine you're about to use. Let's see if I can make a cohesive video out of the bullshit that I just fed the camera. Alright, so now that this thing is put together and programmed, I'm going to design a 3D printable enclosure to put the Marauder in, uh, and because I'm still a kindergartner, I'm going to use Tinkercad. And, uh, yeah.
I'm actually pretty pleased with how the 3D printed enclosure turned out. Um, I went with the color changing filament for two reasons. One, I think it looks cool. Two, it sucks to print with. Uh, and I was just trying to get rid of it, or I'm still trying to get rid of it. But I thought, if this is going to be something that's held in your hand, your body temperature makes it change color. So, perfect application for it, I guess. Ugh. Hey, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, comment your thoughts and feelings, and if you want to see me make even less sense than I do here, follow me on Instagram. The, 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 you know? And, uh... I'll see you next time I have a really bad idea and don't know how to document it on a video camera. So depending on the feedback from this video, I may decide to sell these on Tindy. I haven't decided yet. So if you're interested in buying an ESP32 Marauder, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know.